So I'm 33, and I don't think I'll ever have a handle on my period. <laughs> I think I'll always be bad at it. <laughs> Anyone else feel like that? Like, yes, she gets it. <laughs> I've had it for decades, and every month, it's a surprise. <laughs> you know how at the end of every episode of Scooby-Doo, they unmask the monster, and it's an unexpected character from earlier in the episode? It's like I'm doing that every month, but it's always the same monster. <laughs> and I should know better. Every month I'm like, ah, oh, I feel so bad. What is it? Is it my boyfriend? No, it's my period. <laughs> is it my job? No, it's my period. Is it my mom? Ah, well, it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of a two-hander here. <laughs> They're in cahoots this month. <laughs> And because I am always caught off guard, I'm just roaming the earth unprepared and bleeding everywhere. I'm still bleeding all over everything. I've bled on a bed, I've bled on a couch, I've bled in a shed, uh, <laughs> bled in a house, <laughs> on a boat, on a float, I bled everywhere. <laughs> no joke, weeks ago, I bled in public again. I. <laughs> was when I, I was at the end of my period, I had two beautiful leak-free days. So I put on some khakis, got cocky with some khakis, no panty liner, just really soaring without a parachute here. And I went to dinner with my friend and we're being led to the table by the waiter and I'm noticing my gait is more lubricated than usual. <laughs> so I'm like, I should go check this out. <laughs> I go to the bathroom, pull down my pants. Of course, it's a murder mystery. Uh, no signs of forced entry or exit, just blood. And thankfully, it was like right underneath me. Like, you wouldn't be able to see anything unless we were swing dancing or something. Like, if your face was right under, you know all my secrets. So I just clamped together, shuffled back to the table. My friend already ordered a drink, rude. And I was like, hey, we gotta go. I'm bleeding. And he was like, oh, well, why don't you ask one of the waitresses if they have any tampons here? And there's definitely a younger version of me that would have been like, oh yeah, I'll figure it out. And just like mummified my lower half with toilet paper. <laughs> now I'm in my 30s and I'm like, oh no, we're past the point of no return. We have to leave the building completely. So we leave, go back to my apartment. He's waiting in the living room. I'm cleaning myself up. I change my underwear and my pants, keep the same shirt on. We go right back to the same restaurant and the host goes, welcome back? And I'm like, thank you, no further questions. <laughs> and I was open with my friend like that because we've known each other for years and it's fine. But I want to be that open and honest about my period with everyone all the time. Because why is it a secret? It happens to so many people so much of the time. Like a quarter of the time, really. I'm bleeding one fourth of every month. So like there's a one in four chance that when you talk to me, I am just gushing. <laughs> like looking you dead in the eyes, talking about the weather or something and just hemorrhaging right in front of you. <laughs> it's like the shining down here, and up here I'm like, I wish it was sunnier. <laughs> Why is it a secret? It's also wild to me that we're not just alerting everyone all the time when we're on our periods, because it can be quite painful. Doctors are now saying that the pain we feel when we experience period cramps is equivalent to the pain we feel when we have a heart attack. And we didn't know that before because male medical researchers weren't getting periods. <laughs> and they didn't know that was a thing they needed to research. So we've been enduring this pain for years and just going to work, buttoning up, going to work. 
because we're trained that way. We're trained to be like, it's fine, it's fine, it's pain, but it's nothing. I can endure anything. And we can. But that doesn't mean we have to ignore the way our body feels. And I think these tampon commercials are detrimental. They're always like, oh, you're on your period? Don't let that stop you, girl. Get out there. Go surfing. Go play a sport. Get on a horse. I don't want to do that when I'm not on my period. <laughs> stop trying to force me outside. I want to lay down. <laughs> if you saw a man bleeding uncontrollably and having a four day long heart attack, you wouldn't be like, don't let that stop you. Get on a horse. <laughs> You'd at least be like, lay down. <laughs> but that shows you how strong we are, that we can endure all that and still go to work and still go to school and still finish our stuff. Like, that's awesome. Right? But there should be a trade-off. Like, yeah, I'll go to work, I'll do everything I'm supposed to do, but I should be able to openly talk about how I feel. Like, if you go to work and someone calls you out, like, I noticed you were a little late today, Sandra, it should be well within your rights to be like, oh, I woke up with a pussy heart attack today. <laughs> so, things are gonna be a little slower today. <laughs> All right, thank you very much.